Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today we're going to be going over how to create a lookup table. And a lookup table, also called a LUT, which is L-U-T, um, is almost just like a color correction preset that I showed you a couple tutorials back um, where it just applies a color correction value. The LUTs, however, I'm going to keep on calling them LUTs for now on instead of lookup table because it's quicker. The LUTs, however, pretty much have a lot more information in them and they're way more advanced. So I'm going to show you the effect we use to create a lookup table and it is bundled with After Effects in CS6 and I think it is also in CS5. And I'll show you that program and we'll have to get into it like a lot more later on but I'm going to show you how to create basic color lookup tables and um, let's start now so I've got uh, some video footage here and it's just taking up my whole composition pretty much <clears throat> and let me hide all this other stuff so we don't have to worry about it so it's just video footage now the effect we're going to use is called color finesse 3 now that's under Effect Synthetic Aperture SA Color Finesse 3. Synthetic Aperture is a company and their uh, brand made this uh, Color Finesse 3 which is a real advanced color correction tool. So when you click on it, it brings you to this Color Finesse 3 uh, section here. Now we've got a simplified interface where we can use this to create something or we have the full interface <clears throat> now if you click on full interface it's gonna ask you what like your organization name is and if you wanna like register but um, I already did that and I already have it up so click on full interface and then you'll get this now it'll come up here you've got your uh, source and your result over here on your right so this is gonna be what you're uh, trying to change and what it's going to look like and then you've got all your different um, color correction like graphs and tools and everything like this here and it's pretty uh, pretty sweet looking you've got some more color correction tools down here and it's pretty much just like a huge color correction interface now you can see that this whole thing will probably take a whole like load of tutorials to even cover so I'm just gonna go over a simple one with you and uh, we have used curves be before so let's click on curves and click on the checkbox for it here and then we want want to make our, sure RGB is checked <clears throat> now um, up here you can have it on combo view you can have it on pretty much whatever you want um, since we're using RGB you would probably want to stay within one of the RGB ones here so we could get it, do it on this or something like that now the effect that I want to create <clears throat> or the pre color correction preset that I want to create is gonna be like a dreamy look and when I think of dreamy I think of like purplish kinda of stuff so what we're gonna need to do is take out some of the greens and add in blues and reds to make a more of a purpley look so let's do that within these we can um, grab onto the red somewhere around here and increase the red color a little bit and then we can come into the blue and increase the blues a little bit so I'll do it somewhere around here so we can see we're already getting like a little bit of a purple effect here and let's take out some of the greens make it even a little bit more purpley so um, now we've got like a, a dreamy like color going on here now you can either uh, save right here you can save the um, what are they called? Properties that you've got here and use them to load up another time or you can turn this into a lookup table by coming up here to file and we're gonna go to export we're gonna go to settings to Autodesk 3D LUT so this is how you export your settings to a LUT and then just you can pick um, any of these just pick generic I guess that's what I that's what I picked and um, you want to save this in your uh, presets folder so um, if you go to uh, let's see I think it's Adobe 
let me check and see where it is real quick. The uh, presets folders. So if I go to this, so it's going to be in your My Documents folder, Adobe, and then After Effects CS6, and then User Presets, and that's where you want to save it to. So now that um, now that we've saved it and we've exported it out, we're going to come back into After Effects, and uh, real quick, we're going to we don't need this SA Color Finesse on anymore. We can uncheck that. That we just used the interface there to create a lookup table. We're going to go into Effect, and we're going to go into Utility, and we're going to go to Apply Color Lookup Table, or Apply Color LUT. And then we can select the one that we just created, and I saved mine as LUT Dreamy, and then Autodesk, so I knew what kind it was. And I hit Open, and it applies it there. And you don't have to do have any other settings anymore. So that's that's what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. That's how you uh, create a lookup table. Um, I've seen studios major for major films use lookup tables all the time, and some of them are even included in some of your compositing programs. They have like basic ones that um, companies use all the time. So the reason that um, people like to use these lookup tables. For one, you get a, you can change a lot of the information, and um, in the uh, color finesse, and it's easier to export it as a LUT instead of going to apply the um, settings back in color finesse every time and open up the interface and all that stuff. So we just apply it as a LUT to make it easy. Um, sometimes people, especially directors or producers, and those guys they. Uh, like to create like a specific color treatment for an entire uh, movie or something like that and they like to use the LUT for that usually they for a movie you're going to be using some real advanced color correction to get exactly what you want now I wanted to let you know <clears throat> that uh, After Effects can uh, read the, the uh, LUTs in a 3DL or cube which is C-U-B-E Format and um, that's the uh, uh, those are the file types for LUTs that After Effects is going to be able to read. So um, just keep that in mind, and um, you'll probably run into uh, LUTs at studios. They use them all the time, so that's uh, pretty cool there. Thanks for uh, watching this tutorial. I'm gonna finish it up now, and uh, thumbs up if you liked, thumbs down if you did not like, and at another point we'll get into more about color finesse when we get into advanced color correction tutorials. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.